it's Leslie Meredith with Break Bulk Events and Media, and I'm here in Rotterdam at Break Bulk Europe. And joining me in the studio is Miguel, who's come all the way from San Diego. He's with the port there. Welcome. Oh, thank you for having me. A pleasure to be here again after COVID. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's yeah, been yeah, a yeah. long time. Yes, for yes, sure. Yes, yes. Yes. So I want to thank you for being the sponsor of the energy transition photo contest oh it's again our pleasure good traffic it's been a good event a lot of traffic last night and even some more uh, today yeah yeah so good well we're very pleased to you can see the halls are full people just love getting very together. well attended very well attended <laughs> yes absolutely so tell me what's going on at the port of san diego so you know the last two years have been you know record uh, breakable volumes because of covid right we saw a lot of the spillover effects from the container business going into breakable vessels into our uh, cargo terminals this year has slowed down uh, somewhat but again, we're seeing a lot of activity, very strong uh, market so far for San okay. Diego. Okay, okay, that's good to hear. What kind of uh, project cargo are you seeing? So a lot of uh, wind components uh, that we handled, you know, in the past two years. Also a lot of brake bolt coming from the uh, Trans-Pacific, uh, the Southeast Asia, and even Europe as well. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, yes. that's interesting. So are, th are those things coming in? It's mostly port? imports for the mostly most part. Imports. Mostly imports. Okay. In the case of the brake bulk, uh, it's cargo coming out of uh, Taiwan, uh -huh. uh, South Korea, in some cases China, and also Malaysia as well, in Northern Europe as well, yes. Oh, interesting. And then what are those ships carrying going back? Most, most of the time, lately, they go up uh, north to the PNW, Pacific Northwest, yeah. to be loaded and then continue their normal uh, trade lanes. But again, for the most part, it's uh, import cargoes coming into San Diego. Okay. We wish we can do more exports. I think uh, that's something that we can look you know, forward to and finding those opportunities, right? And diversify most of our cargoes. But for the time being, it's mostly uh, imports. Imports, yeah. okay, all right. Um, so how do you think the, say, next 12 months look? You know, for the next uh, 12 months, uh, I think Internally, we're going through a lot of changes uh, when it comes to uh, decarbonizing our uh, marine operations. So, uh, as a matter of fact, tomorrow morning, we're going to be seeing the loading of two new electric cranes that we have bought. Oh, so, wow. we're going to be going to the port of Amsterdam to see the loading of those cranes. There are two uh, with capacity 200 tons each. And so, there's going to be, uh, again, those are going to be loaded uh, tomorrow. And we're expecting those uh, cranes to be on the 10th Avenue Marine Terminal in San Diego probably later uh, in July. Wow, so that's we're looking exciting. forward to that. The, yeah. the mobile crane that we have now, it's almost 21 years old. <laughs> and it's a diesel, you know, uh, uh, mobile crane. So I think it's time to upgrade our equipment, yep. uh, be more responsible whenever it comes to our communities. And also, you know, get on with the times, right? Uh, these, again, are uh, electric cranes. So uh, there's going to be a learning curve, no, no question about it, but we're very, very excited about it. Oh, yes. that is great yeah. news. Great news. Yes. Yes. Well, I want to thank you for giving us such a thorough update yes. Yes. on the port. And again, wonderful to see you. Yes, yes, likewise. Thank okay. you so much.